guys, welcome to a brand new save here on the channel. We, of course, have the Arsenal Manager Mode ongoing here on the Chesnoy Gaming Channel. And today, this evening, we are starting another save to go alongside that. As you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, it's a My Player save. We haven't done one on YouTube for about three years, not since FIFA 19. So, I think actually, four years. Uh, I did do one last year during a brief brand deal on Facebook. But for the first time in a long while, it's coming back to the main YouTube channel. Now, how often it comes to you is down to you. If you hit 1,500 likes on this video, then you will get one tomorrow. Forward from there, if we get 1,000 likes on any given my play video, you will always get one the next day. So to make sure that this video is, or this series is daily, as well as the Arsenal save or all of the manager mode stuff, then... Drop these videos a like, let me know your continued feedback in the comments section and come and watch each video and you'll get more of it. Make sure you subscribe to the channel of course with the notification bell ticked as well and you definitely won't miss a video of either this save or the main manager mode save of the, of the given moment. Obviously at the minute we're at Arsenal. Now things look a little bit different around here at present. I am recording this whilst having an, an Xbox sponsored stream where I'm doing loads of giveaways. Now. That's not relevant for you right now, but it is very soon because I'm doing it all again this coming Friday. I've got a console to give away, I've got a game code to give away, I've got FIFA points and Xbox Game Pass codes to give away. So if you want to come and be involved in that, link in the description to the Twitch channel. You can come and join in with that. And also you can come and just watch me record it live and see all the behind the scenes as well. So without any further ado, we've set up my guy on stream. And we're about to head in and there are some new cutscenes that we're going to see on the way into this My Player save. Starting at Cambridge United as a striker, six foot three, built like me, bit chubby, but there's hopefully the opportunity to improve my pace stat and my agility and my balance. So we're going to jump straight in without any further ado. Drop the video a like. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with a notification bell ticked. Come and watch these live as well. I'd love to have as many of you as possible here watching live. Let's jump in. That isn't my guy, by the way. He looks different to that. I don't know why. I think that's Digby. Let's go. I might just not cut. I might just stare at you. Up the yellers. I tell you what. Cambridge's training ground doesn't look that fancy. In real life. Dimmy. That was Jubs. All right, lads, bring it in. That'll be Nibsy. Welcome to the new faces joining us. Today marks the first step in their journey to becoming a regular on this squad. Welcome. Thank you, Warburton. All right, enough of that. On with you. To be fair, the the default manager character guy doesn't look too dissimilar from Cambridge's manager in real life. So there are new things, new aspects to career mode this year on the My Player side. Quite significant ones, again, as there were last year. You get decisions to make throughout the course of your career, which will define various different things that happen off the pitch that will actually impact the way that your stats grow or the way that you play on the pitch. You can spend your money for the first time on a lavish lifestyle or improve your personal skills. You can invest in various different projects and you can earn rewards as well to go towards your personality points. Now you will have the option to be one of three different personalities in this My Player Save this year. So the first thing to do once we've joined our new club is greet our teammates. Now, as we were saying, there are three different uh, personalities in game that your player can have a maverick which is more of a lone wolf a virtuoso which is that kind of hard work hard graft player like an N'Golo Kante and a heartbeat who's kind of the the dressing room player that is kind of motivating everyone and driving the club forward whether he's playing or not I personally would like to try and be more of a heartbeat player that kind of gather everyone around you and drag the team forward by the scruff of the neck type player. Kind of a Gerard rather than, say, a Kante or an Ibrahimovic on the other side. So I'm going to send a message to my teammates' group chat telling them I'm looking forward to achieving great things together in the season ahead. And that will earn me 20 heartbeat points. Activity completed. Heartbeat points assigned. Now, depending on which way you're leaning personality point-wise, that will dictate 
what certain attributes get a boost. So you might, if you want to play a certain way, lean into a certain personality. If you'd like to have a certain personality, then you will play the way that the stats are presented to you. I can actually go shopping at the minute, although, as you can see, requirements not met. I don't have any money. You can see top right, there's my cash balance. So at present, I, uh, I don't have enough money to buy anything. Uh, I can't even buy a trampoline at the minute. It's a bloody expensive trampoline at £2,100. So I've done my decisions. I can't do any of my shopping unless there was something in here where requirements are met. Which there is not. And then we'll try and improve our manager rating. That works relatively similar to every other year. And again, the personality tiers as we've previously explained. So I'm currently leaning towards heartbeat. Meaning I'm 100% at the minute heartbeat. My Virtuoso is 0% and my Maverick is 0%. Heartbeat is my dominant tier. I can switch the view so you can see what is uh, being boosted by those stats. So currently, my volleys, vision, reactions, attack positioning, short passing, crossing and long shots are all boosted. If I want my penalty... Well, I'm not going to read them out. You can see what they are. If I want my top row ones boosted a little bit, I'm going to have to put a little bit into Maverick and I will want that because I want to be good at penalties. I want to be good at free kicks. I want to be good with my sprint speed, acceleration and my finishing. To be honest, given the nature of my guy, six foot three, a bit chubby, not that quick, I might need to lean a bit more into Maverick than perhaps I initially might have liked. And then Virtuoso, uh, the last three that you can't see there are heading accuracy, strength and shot power. Now my strength is going to be quite high already because I am, as we've said, six foot three, and a little bit chubby. Although, actually, don't look that fat there, so I'm quite happy with that. Initially taking the number 28 shirt, because that's my birthday number. The aim is to earn the number 10 shirt. Sorry, Sam Smith. To get myself into the starting lineup, playing at striker every single week. Sorry, Joey Ironside or Harvey Nibs. It's a competitive squad at Cambridge. The team does look very good indeed. I'm not going to overly use the training. I'm not going to put any attribute boosts on manually unless I've earned them. So when we go up a level and we unlock the ability to add boosts to our stats, I'm only going to put them on if I score or assist or get a good match rating of 8+. plus. So it's going to be difficult initially to grow, but I like that. We're starting in League One at Cambridge at 69 rated, which is already going to be the highest rating at the club. And I don't want to massively outgrow Cambridge within three months and then find myself needing to move on to really progress my career. I'd like to have a slower start to my career and have it more realistic in that sense. So that's what I'm looking forward to here at Cambridge. You can see my current uh, player growth here. So they're my current stats. Six foot three, 187 pound striker that's right footed. Now, obviously at the minute, I don't have any skill points to add on. So I can't do anything here at this particular moment in time. However, like I say, once we've earned them, not only just by unlocking the levels, but earned them by putting in good performances, we'll look to upgrade my guy. Personality wise, obviously we can get a little bit of a boost from the way that we play and with the things that we do. With regards to my career, I'm curious to know how much money I'm on a week. £850 a week. Let's go. That's really not bad as a first starting wage. 69 rated. I'm valued at £4.9 million. Although, presumably, that is £850 a week before tax. Still a, still a decent wage. Still a decent wage, certainly. So, do I show you? Would you guys like to see through the squad hub? I can show you briefly who else is in the club. So my competition for first team spots are Sam Smith, Joe Ironside, Saiku Janna and uh, Fejio Akunabiri. I'm the fifth striker at the club, but I am the highest rated. And then Harvey can play at striker as well, to be fair. And he's pretty tasty up top. So certainly there is a lot of competition. Now I'm not sure what formation the manager is going to play initially, but... A lot of these players you guys will be familiar with from my time at Cambridge in previous seasons on the on the game in manager mode. So I won't dwell too much on that. You will become accustomed with these players as we play, as we move forward. So I am going to play and move forward. First things first, 
I want to try and get £2,000 so I can buy a trampoline. <laughs> Can't believe I just said that out loud. Activity-wise, there have been some new investments appear, but obviously I don't have the finances at the minute to uh, to go into those. It's a way to uh, to earn extra money. So I, it cost me forty-three thousand pounds to do to create an esports team for thirty days, but I get fifty grand back. They're kind of uh, longer or short-term investment. I don't know how the risk works out, or whether it's just because it's high risk means it takes longer. But I'm I imagine the higher risk the more likely I am to potentially lose my money. Uh, I don't yet have enough to buy a trampoline, but it's nice to see that actually it would boost my jumping. I wonder if it actually does anything with regards to my boots. I'm not sure. So, well, we are at the first game. I will kind of have on the fly the amount of games that we'll have in each given episode. This first one, I might keep it slightly shorter just to give you a taste and an introduction to the My Player, but uh, I will make another video tomorrow for my player uh, regardless of whether you hit the like target or not and we will try and uh, have at least two if not three games per episode depending on how things go so I've got to manage the amount of content I'm trying to make as well now I will utilize training to keep my manager rating about where it was we were halfway uh, through the sub category because it's kind of built mechanically presuming you are going to train which is fine, because I'm going to train to keep my manager rating where it was, as it might drop between games, but I'll never artificially get it above where it was without earning that in-game. And like we say, the way that we're going to be selective with how we use the skill points means that doesn't matter how much we train, we're not actually going to boost our overall unless I actually add the skill points. So I'm quite happy to do that uh, in that fashion, and hopefully... Oh, and you can actually get different Maverick or Virtuoso or Heartbeat rewards from your given training modules. That's good to know as well. So if I simulate those, how far does that get me? Not very, but at least I've got some extra points. Okay, so we'll probably do the heavy ones then, just to try and boost it. We are on the match day. I am on the subs bench, so I'm expecting to get some first team football then here in this first friendly of the season against Excelsior Rotterdam from the Netherlands. Of course, as per last year, you can now come on as a sub and I'm actually being utilised at Cam behind Joe Ironside. I believe the formation is a 4-2-3-1 on there with Dimi in goal. Williams, Taylor, Okadina and Dunkers are back four. O'Neill and Digby holding with their nibs on the right, Brophy on the left. Myself coming on at cam for Adam May and Joe Ironside up top. I've only got six minutes to make an impact, so I'm going to have to play well if we are to make said impact. But making my unofficial debut, here we go. Coming off the bench for the first time for number 19, Adam May. Cheese! I'm down as Chris Wood but known as Chesnoid. Now, of course, if you're unfamiliar with my player from last year, this was added in then, although now you actually get your personality point boost as well. You can add a boost to any of these three objectives and earn a little bit more. Oh my God, I'm actually on the free kick as well. Hello, who can I find? Who have we got towards the back post? I'm going to do an inside curled. I'll try and put a bit of... Oh my God, that powered up so fast! Well, that's going out of play on the far side, isn't it? No, I've found a teammate. Keep it in play. Well done, Liam O'Neill. Lol. Oh, and then he's given it away. Joe Ironside wins it back. Harrison Dunk. That's a lovely little flick. Go on, United. Oh, my God. Oh, I called for it on the edge of the box. Harvey Nibs with the effort. It's blocked well and picked up by the goalkeeper. I'm going to play with a pro camera. And it's going to take a bit of getting used to again after not touching my player for a few months. But hopefully we can adjust quite quick. And be able to have a proper impact on the game. Playing at Cam, I'm going to try and almost play like a second striker. Well in, Digger. Digby's done very well there. And Joe Einstein will feed that to me. Now, I'm going to need to find a teammate here, which we've done well. And he's going to look out wide there for James Brophy. Now, I am in support. Is Brophy going to come to me? He is. Support there again. Look at the ball through. Oh, I couldn't quite find Joe Einstein, unfortunately. Very nearly. An opportunity for an assist within the first three minutes of me being on the pitch. It's going to take a while to figure out... Oh, Harvey Nibs is going off and Sam Smith coming on in his place. The man whose number I want. Sorry, Smithy, but I want that number 10 pout. 
Greggy T is going to find me. Now, my guy is going to be not that good initially. Because I'm going to be clunky. So I'm tall. Not very agile. Not got great balance. I'm played in by Ironside here. I'll look for Joey again and tell him to shoot. Goal! Joe Ironside! Cambridge 1, Excelsior 0. And an assist for me. That's how you win a game late. That's how you make an impact off the bench. The unofficial debut has something positive in it already. Not goal, but to be fair, coming on at Cam, I should be looking to get assists more so than goals. XG of only 0.1, but Joey has slammed that into the back of the net. What a finish, by the way. Bending it around the defender in front of him. We lead by a goal to nil. Up the U's. What's that done to my match rating? In the 88th minute, we have ourselves a 1-0 lead, which certainly will go a long way to helping us go up the pre-season table. A 6.3 is all that's done for me there from a 5.7. So clearly, I'm going to need goals more so than anything else. But I've been able to at least get an assist and thankfully scuffed his shot there. Otherwise, we might well have found ourselves back level again before the end of the game. Dimmy's going to pump that out. I'm going to try and win this header. And thanks to my height, I am going to be able to win it which is good. I'm going to be able to utilise that quite a bit, hopefully, throughout the course of this save. My extra height, and hopefully I'll be able to improve my jumping when I buy a trampoline, and I'll be able to improve my heading accuracy throughout the course of this save. And we should, fingers crossed, become a decent level of player. We're already one of the best players on paper in the division, but rather evidently I'm going to have to prove that and it's not going to be easy because we are playing on legendary, of course. Liam O'Neill wins that header to clear it away. Only as far as Bass, who finds Lampdu. What a save, Dimitar Mitov. Brilliant stop from Cambridge's number one. That was exceptional. Corner to come in from Excelsior again as they look for an equaliser late on. I missed that, but Smithy gets underneath it. Can I get to that as well? I think they won it, but there's time Going to run out on them here. It looks like it is. We'll just pass that to a teammate to keep the move moving. I'll try and get one more boost from an accurate pass. Joey's going. Is he going to shoot? He's going to let it lay it into Sam Smith. He's left footed, but he's in here. Good save by the keeper. There might be the chance of a goal yet still from the corner. I'm going to call for it. I've got the height. Have I got the jumping? That wasn't really far enough, unfortunately. That'll be game, I think. But I tell you what. A 1-0 win with an assist is certainly not a bad way to start and make an introduction to the new fans and to my teammates as well. I should be a good acquisition for this team. Wood, number 28, soon hopefully to be Wood, number 10. I may even change my name to Chesnoid on the back if you guys might like to see it say Chesnoid on the back rather than Wood. But 6.3 rating. Seven minutes played, made an impact. We're down as a striker, but obviously being utilised in a cam roll off the bench. But hopefully it won't be long before we come on for Joey Ironside. Now, personality-wise, we're growing a little bit there, plus 83. You can see I need 10,000 to get plus three boosts in all of those areas. Uh, I didn't get a 6.5, only a 6.4, so my manager rating has actually gone down a bit. But... Given that I got the assist, I think I can justify having at least keeping it where it was. I think it's a little bit harsh. And because I got the assist, I will allow myself one skill point. Not one area, one skill point. I have six available, but I got the assist only. I didn't get a massive rating, but I got the assist, so I'm going to allow myself one skill point. Now, I can't do acceleration or anything about my speed till I've got two. So I might hold on to that one for the time being. And I'll wait and see whether you guys in the comments reckon I should concentrate on my pace or should I concentrate on my technicality first? Let me know in the comment section down below and I will concentrate where you think I should. Now, we've unlocked our first perk slot. There are a couple of new ones this year. Chase down. The defender is quicker to recover and chase back when possession changes. I don't really need that. Poacher. Boosted shooting from inside the box. Certainly that's going to help as a striker, isn't it? So we will equip that. 
Now then, for this first episode, as a taster of things to come, that will do, I think. But I will go and record a couple more to ensure that I've got a backlog and I've got enough to I so as I can keep up with the daily uploads, provided you guys continue to hit that thumbs up button. So please, let me know what you thought in the comment section of this opening My Player career mode video. Let me know how excited you are and if you're looking forward to this save and let me know if you're going to be doing a player career mode of your own and where you're going to start and what sort of player you're going to build, what sort of personality type are you going to look to try and na narrow yourself down into. And hopefully we can have a well-rounded, successful career here at Cambridge United. I'd love to be the catalyst that drives this club to the championship for the first time in 30 years. That's the dream. But one game at a time, eh? Thank you very much for watching. Do drop the video a like if you've enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe to the channel with a notification bell ticked and you won't miss a further episode or anything from the main manager mode, which at present is, of course, at Arsenal, which is also coming to you daily and will always come to you daily regardless of like targets. But for now, that's all for this one. Come and join me on Twitch. Link in the description down below. Especially on Friday, because I'm going to have more giveaways for you as well. I shall see you in the next one. Ta-ta.